hello and welcome back to Battletech. it's been a bit i know um you have to understand i mean I, i'm not gonna explain it too much but you know the last week has basically been just demos i've been covering steam next fest like constantly so i haven't had any time for Battletech, and because it is so time like sensitive i i really just needed to dedicate every moment to um you know recording some demos so with that that out of the way um, i'm very glad happy to get back to battletech I, I really do want to see this game through i'm enjoying it a lot every time i come back to it and play it i'm like yeah god just goddamn this game is so much fun so um we're gonna go ahead and fast forward while we wait for um some work to be done on the ergo repaired power conduits is complete we can have another quick look at um ship upgrades we don't want to spend too much money because i've been doing the, that maybe a little bit too much we could i mean for two hundred twenty-five thousand, we could increase our morale by one seems seems good honestly i don't know uh what you're talking about um we could increase our mech bay uh size so we have two mech bays i don't know if that's necessarily super good right now i'm not sure what we'd want to do i might honestly want to increase our um do like automation so that we have this increases our tech points um i think that in it improves the time it takes to do work on uh our mechs we can do refit harness this i think these are all just for adding tech points which are going to um yeah make job the job of repairing mechs much simpler uh we have training modules mech warriors gain 20 experience each day mech warriors with less than 10,000 total experience can benefit from this well so this is like you know um a second mech bay and um more experience for new recruits this is a these are starting to look like perks for making sure we have extra pilots and extra mechs um, we're not at that point yet, so let's have a look at some other things yet. Crashing a ship into a moon causes all sorts of damage, both visible and hidden. Major support structures have been twisted and weakened. Not sure what the benefit of this is, but I'm pretty sure we have to do it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. So we're improving the structure and the power systems. These are um, potentially going to open other things up to us. Um, I'll, I'll, you know, maybe someone can let me know in the comments exactly what those are doing, but, uh, I don't, you know, I, I we, we're going to have to do them all, uh, bottom line. And so we do, uh, I'm not sure if we can level up anyone, but I am, I, it's good to, to take a quick look. Zero XP. I must have spent my XP before, um, shutting down last time. So I think we're good there. So what we could start doing is now looking at some contracts. Our contracts board are going to look very different. We have a bunch of missions to do for the Arana restoration. We can do them in basically any order we want. We can, of course, take some mercenary missions. Nothing stopping us from doing that. But these are kind of time sensitive, as I understand it. We want to uh, get these done not super quickly, but, you know, quickly-ish. Um, so, you know, probably this and the next episode are going to be taking care of business here um we're good for money so i i think what i might do is just do like a split divide between payment and salvage we get two um cherry picks and then we get forty thousand. i don't think that's actually worth it i think it might be better to do higher money um the only reason being i mean and this is okay but like the the, the, the rule of thumb for uh, battle tech is if it's not paying for repairs it's not worth it and this doesn't seem worth it to me unless we're getting better mech parts i mean if we're getting some good mech parts then this would be highly worth it i think honestly i'd prefer to take maybe a close to, to a 200 000 pay cut for one more cherry pick and a lot more modules um everyone's still uh, we can't even take a mission because everyone's still um you know the the mechs are still being repaired so we may as well just hold out we've got a oh god this is we got some decisions here after receiving a troubling message from yang you rush down to the mech bay yang pushes between a mob of mech warriors and mech techs entangled in a shoving match at the blackjack's feet a message welded into the blackjack's torso reads no tech no mechs you depend on us. A scrawny mech tech with a black eye shoves a wrench at the mech jockeys to emphasize every word. 
We deserve respect and that means a raise. I'll give you what you deserve. Decker rushes forward, but Glitch and Yang pull him back from the, the tech. Um, we're the ones risking our necks. Yang raises his voice be before anyone else can comment. Shut your traps, all of you. How do you want to handle this, boss? Agree to set aside more funds for the mech techs. Or a million. Al allocate year-end bonuses for both mech techs and mech warriors. I'm sure this would raise morale, and I have a feeling that this would raise morale maybe more than the cost of, uh, my usual payment. And we can afford to do this, and I think that it's probably always worth setting money aside for morale. Um, maybe, maybe not worth it, but I'm gonna do it. Morale raised by four. I don't, oh, and tech points raised by four. That's actually not bad. I think that that was that is actually I wish it ha had happened before we um, did the repairs, but that's okay. Decker has gained the following tags dependable. Glitch has gained the following tags for 30 days high spirits. This is actually great. Um, I think this is great. Maybe debatably worth a million, but we're going to be flush um, soon enough, I promise you. You climb up into the scaffolding, raising your voice so that all can hear. Each and every one of you works hard to ensure the success of this outfit, and you all deserve a bonus regardless of rank or title. Everybody looks at you, murmuring in surprise. Um, our lives aren't easy along the periphery, but each of you depends on others to survive out here. Mech techs and mech warriors, you're two sides of the same coin. Time for you to recognize it. You pause for a moment, letting your words sink in. We'll set aside a million sea bills for a one-time bonus to be divided equally heads nods and uh, nod in the crowd and some people even cheer in agreement when you check on the mech bay later that day you notice decker and glitch hauling equipment over to the mech techs as they weld flesh fresh armor not flesh armor fresh armor over to the blackjack's torso scorched torso each crew member is pitching in and working harder than you expected despite the tensions earlier yang pats you on the back smell that boss that that's the smell of progress i like that i like the little story uh mini games i don't know what to call them events story events that sounds better so our mech tech is at 10 right now um so that's really good we're gonna want to do some contracts we're gonna want to raise some money back for sure um we could take on something a little more difficult but i do want to get some of these done um we would only get three parts if we took just the money from this what if we did yeah, 600,000 and then one six is actually pretty good. I like that. Um, oh, Big Simple is still out of commission. We could put Medusa in the blackjack. This is a this is something that we are going to want to start doing soon enough. Like we're going to want some more deployable units. We're going to want some more pilots. This does uh, create a tricky situation for me, though, because uh, my rule has always been for this series if my main character dies then i get to restart the mission which means if i don't have my main pilot as part of the ranks then i have no safety net meaning if anyone dies or if everyone dies the series would effectively end so i don't think i can really do that i don't think that that's very fun or entertaining i don't think that's going to happen i think uh, i'm competent enough at this point to not let that happen um so what are we doing my superiors and coalition leadership would like you like to even the score we'd like to hire you to find a pirate lance and destroy it okay just go and kill a pirate lance i'm gonna do a pause here so you don't have to hang around for the loading screen be right back it was literally two seconds so that's nice so i believe this isn't the tundra planet you've arrived at the location our employer specified commander move forward acquire a target lance and light them up keep an eye out for reinforcements i get the impression these folks are a bit twitchy I may have picked a different mission. Is this Tundra? This is Forest. We're in... I'm not sure where we're at. I think this is just a forest planet. Okay, well, um, kind of a novel mission. I don't think I've done too many that are, like, nighttime. So, um, you know, same plan as usual. We're gonna, um, you know, get as much uh, evasion as possible. What? What? What's? No. I, I, it, it thought I was clicking on the 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 aye, aye. mech. I was not. Roger. 
I've been playing a lot of games in the last week and I've, I've played a few um, squad like tactical games kind of you know like Battletech and I have one thing I gotta say I've gotten really used to the quality of life feature of being able to move units all at once between combats while wow, they're all descending on my position good lord um okay so we're gonna want to we do not want to be flanked this is not a good position where that we're in i'm gonna go ahead um that's rough terrain can't really do that we could do a jump let's do a jump into that forest And we'll brace for now. That's our blackjack, so that's Medusa piloting that. Oh god, we have more? This is gonna this is gonna be rough. Okay, I wanna get to this forest line and build up some evasion. I know that um, you know, might maybe I'm wasting some turns, but I don't think it's a waste if we're building up the evasion. That's kind of my my thought on it. Now what we could do, if I have the ability to, we could do a sensor lock on one of these units. Because I believe the last one, the last one is Decker and that's the Centurion and the Centurion is basically always going to have a good um, sight on stuff. That's just the Locust. They have quite a bit of evasion right now. How come I can't? Oh, I'm not in, uh, I'm not, my, my direction is, is bad. Um, that's a sprint. Oh, that's right. We do not have jump jets on that so what we really want to do is we can just move a little bit the centurion is going to be in some danger but hey we can at least take some shots on this locust we exposed it and we also um cut its evasion that's always a good thing oh there's so many of them there's another one over there there's another one <laughs> there's like is there like seven units Eight units. We're, we're looking at eight mechs right now. Good lord. It's gonna get spicy. So we want eyes on at least a couple of these mechs. We want to take some shots. We definitely want to try and um, maybe attack the locust that we just hit the, 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 the evasion on. So let's do a jump over here. We're not building up any heat just yet. If I could get maybe closer, that wouldn't be... No. I think, I think I'd rather get... Go, like, here. So this guy is braced, but we've got good sights on them. We got two locusts. If these if they're, these are all locusts, then I'm actually okay. We can't split our shot because this is um, Medusa, not uh, Big Simple. And so we don't have nearly the same uh, level of, of um, options as we did. So, um, I think actually, let's see, we have the potential to just destroy this unit. I think what I'd like to do, honestly, I know it's, maybe this is a bit cavalier. Maybe that's not the right word, but you know, maybe, maybe I'm a bit big for my britches right now, but I don't really want to hit it with everything because we're generating too much heat. We, we have to play the long game. This is an endurance run. So I'm going to hit it with a precision shot and just medium lasers. And hopefully uh, we didn't get lucky there or did we we did blow something up it wasn't what we wanted my concern honestly for this run is that we are gonna take pilot damage so we're gonna hit both of these lads um we'll do a short range missile on the a and we're going to dedicate our the, our second two guns on the b and that's really honestly you know what let's just do a the the two short range missiles on a and the the short range missile four on b that's just to cut into their evasion although i don't think they have any any evasion so we'll we'll do this um ooh, those were some good hits did we actually blow it up we didn't we didn't blow it up, but that's okay. Commander. Um, not huge. Okay, well, I mean, our... This is okay. Um, if, could it be better? It sure could, but uh, I don't dislike it. 
the fact that these guys have no evasion is pretty good um, we're only going to build up a little bit of um, heat on this so let's just go ahead and hit it with everything I would really like to take out a couple wow I, I missed it with like everything didn't I okay we need to get Decker out of there Decker is not in a very good position we'll build up a little bit of evasion here and um, if I could oh Decker really needs to be able to split his shot that's my hot take Decker also um, like I, I, I am not going to be like how do i put this i need to dedicate big firepower to taking thing like taking out a lot of armor um i can't be like dedicating all of his missiles to like finishing someone off because he only has a certain amount of rockets so you know like i, I gotta be a bit picky choosy oh shoot that guy's got a ppc what is that? What was that? How come we can't see it? It just shot at us. Uh, things are getting kind of spicy. I won't lie. If I could dedicate some, get some more evasion, that'd be really nice. Um, this is Medusa. Still can't split our shot. This locust. I think we did take out one locust. So this is a fresh locust with the tactician i'm not sure what that really means for us um our movements movement points are really reduced i don't know why we are so slow right now it might be just because uh we have a fresh pilot so i would like to dedicate a full shot to this other locus i know we should probably take out that other crippled one but i don't think it's actually hurting us much like, I don't think it has much potential. Oh, it, do it totally does. It totally does. On you, Commander. So again, uh, Glitch can split her shot. So I'd like to... I really, like, I just don't feel good dedicating an entire um, attack to this one little tiny locust here. So I'd much rather, um, you know... We'll, we'll throw a short range at the, the small locust. Might take it out, might not. Got it. it didn't, unfortunately. And then dedicate a much bigger attack to something else. We actually did destroy that. So that was good. I think we got a crit on that one. Oh, shoot. What is that? Oh, God. Okay, the blackjack is exposed. Oh, my God. It destroyed the left arm? No. <laughs> Oh god, what is that? A Kentaro? Well, I mean, nice if we can if we can get some parts off it, but oh my god. This is gonna be a lot spicier than I thought. We might end up reloading. Um I have to I have to start like hitting that like as soon as possible. Position confirmed. Okay, what what are our options here? Um, head, nothing in the head. We got some ammo in the left torso. We've got some ammo in the right torso. Obviously, the center torso would be ideal because we would get as many parts as possible. Um, it's got a lot of armor, though. So if we can hit, I guess, the left torso, that might be nice. If we can get a crit, that'd be cool. I don't think we're going to get a crit. Okay, we just barely have line of sight on the Kentaro. We're going to do another precision strike on this, and I'm going to hit it as hard as possible. If we could knock it over, that'd be nice. Right, this that the, the little crippled can, um, locust can still do melee hits, and those aren't nothing. We're getting swarmed. Oh my god. Light damage, Commander. I'm actually really worried for the blackjack right now. This is a rough mission to come back to. Yeah. Um Okay, we need to 
reposition the blackjack my um apparently it's really unstable right now I, it just it did just take a couple of hits from these locusts i kind of think that rather than attacking the kentaro it might be better to just do some um to, to smack like kill a couple of these locusts with some melee hits miss what do you mean miss with everything literally miss with everything wow what are you doing <laughs> Okay, I have to I'm gonna have to dedicate some attacks on these guys Um again, I know I know um I I think that this could take them both out. Well, no, maybe not that second one, but you never know could get lucky Okay, so that crippled one is finally taken out This guy we didn't get lucky with it, but at least we took one out we're gonna do a precision strike on that Kentaro. We really need to hit it hard. Structure exposed. That's nice. Um, but we really needed to like blow that arm off. What is on that arm anyway? Left. Oh, maybe we should have focused the other one. No, never mind. Where's the PPC? I guess it's not on that. That actually scares me. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have a PPC. But, I mean, I guess hitting that arm would be a good thing. So, anyway, we're, we're just going to hit it with as much as we can. With the fact that we haven't knocked it over sucks a lot. Blackjack is still taking some hits. I mean, um, the Blackjack lost its arm and it, that sucks a lot. But the good news is that, like, it's still got a lot of armor left. We just need to re-angle it so that it's not exposing that left side yeah like that like exactly that so now we're taking hits on the left side that's going straight into the torso worried for the oh man everything sucks right now just like everything okay let's run over there if we run over there we'll have our right side exposed which is better but we need to run over there and just like stomp on that stupid locust Okay. Knockdown. I mean, that's something. I need I need some kind of win. Good lord. Pilot injured. That's that's nice. Kentaro is changing. Why is he picking on the blackjack so much? Good god. I'm under heavy fire here. Yeah, I know you are. Um, we have enough for a precision shot. I need to hit that Kentaro as much as I can. Got it. I think I just knocked off both arms. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. That was really nice. Um, I'm not sure what that thing has left. It has nothing left. Okay, so in that case, I'm going to dedicate some attacks to some of the other things that still have stuff. Roger that. Um, the commander... Let me see here. That's got an, a laser. Who's got the PPC? Who's hitting me with the PPC? Where is the PPC? God damn. Um, well, okay, this has got a medium laser, SRM-6, and SRM-4. That's a lot. But this has also got a lot and it probably we have a we have a not zero percent chance to actually kill that thing um can we can we actually hit something what, what's what's going on here attack can we only what how come we can only shoot the okay i guess we're just shooting the kentaro i mean i don't mind but um at least we can hit something but i, I kind of wanted to hit anything else because the the kentaro is effectively disarmed now <laughs> literally it's been disarmed it's a funny joke right um how many missiles we have left we have tons of missiles left uh so let's just like see if we can destroy this locust i really should have paid 
some attention to how much armor that look the locust actually looks heavily armored oh my god this freaking mech with the ppc has like stayed hidden the entire match okay i'm a little concerned that the blackjack is going to lose its other arm wow like every single attack has been directed at the blackjack why why it, it, oh, come on okay we're gonna do an uh, a melee hit on the locust with the blackjack nice we knocked off its arm we still have some support lasers left pow pow that was good actually because those go directly into the torso uh, oh we could have uh we probably could have killed this locust Blackjack taking damage, still, still, <laughs> still everything is just attacking the blackjack. I probably, I know I shouldn't be splitting some, so many of my shots. I understand this. Um, actually, yeah, you know what? Let's not split our shot. Let's just do a normal attack on that locust there. Cause I see that even if we don't kill them, they do have, uh, they are close to being knocked over. We'll probably destroy them. Pilot injured. We didn't destroy them? Well, I guess I'm glad I didn't split my shot then, aren't I? We really do need to hit that panther. Um, but I also want to, I, I need to kill some of these other things. Uh, can we hit it from here? We can, but we would be better off moving first. There's there's just so many things on the board. I didn't expect this to be so much. Um, let's just walk up and smack the locust. And the reason being is that we'll uh, cool down a little bit while doing so. There we go. As long as we kill something, I'm, I'm happy. Um, I am going to start hitting that panther and we're going to actually we're going to do a precision shot Now what have we got here? They've got the ppc and the srm4 So what have we got? What, what can we what can we hit? There isn't really anything in those torsos except the srm ammo I feel like actually hitting the center torso directly wouldn't be a bad idea. What's what's shooting? Okay, so if we hit the left arm that wouldn't be bad. Um, we have a better chance of hitting the right torso than the right arm. So let's go for the right torso. Kintaro is making its way over. Its only option at this point is to do me melee hits. That being said, um, if it actually did achieve that, it would hurt a lot. So we do, it, it is still a threat. I just, it wasn't a, an immediate threat. Now it's an immediate threat. <laughs> Um, we still have a bunch of lasers and stuff. We should make use of those On the blackjack, I mean, so let's go ahead and hit that thing Um, I don't think actually if we hit it with literally no this This Kentaro still has quite a bit of uh, firepower or, or armor left Actually, maybe not Let's just let's just hit it. Please don't miss with everything. Good lord. I I have to say, what the hell is happening in this match? Everything has attacked the blackjack, like repeatedly. It's been it's been kind of ridiculous. Um Okay, let's move a bit closer and try and, and kill this Kentaro. The uh, center torso is actually exposed. So the blackjack did do something. Can we please destroy it now? Yes. Kentaro down. We should actually get some parts from that. Um, this is lasers, heavy lasers. I, I need to hit this commando. Yes, I know there's a dude over there. The PPC isn't actually... If it's just a PPC, that's not bad. Um, but this commando needs to needs to go. <laughs> So what do, what do we have? It's just SRM. 
So there isn't really uh, an advantageous place to hit it. All um, medium laser on the on its left side. So let's just like hit the left, the, the right torso. 50% chance. Maybe we get a crit on the ammo. Wow, we missed, but we hit the other guy on the back there. We did actually destroy its arm. This is good. Um, Centurion's going to have a much better chance of hitting the panther in the back there. 65% chance. We don't have a precision shot, unfortunately. Unsteady. Oh, okay. It would be really nice if we could knock it over. It's going to shoot the PPC at the blackjack, I'm sure. Yep. Every single attack has been at the blackjack. I don't know if that's just like horrible luck, but it's just really frustrating. <laughs> it's just super frustrating. Um, it built up some evasion, unfortunately. So actually we'd have a better chance of like hitting that commando. I know we're exposing our back, but hopefully we'll take out the Panther. So it won't be a threat. Pilot incapacitated. We we killed the commando. And now we just we we have a precision shot, so let's take it. Yeah, that left torso seems like a good spot. We blew off the arm. I don't Oh okay. We we killed it. That was rough. I should send the appropriate message. The appropriate message was if they complete like target my one mech the entire match they will blow off like both of its arms i'm pretty sure oh god oh the blackjack and the and the pilot injured twice they're down for like a good long time blackjack's gonna be i'm sure glad i got all those extra tech points because i'm gonna need it that was rough but hey we get the kentaro um Value 2 million. The, the, we get the Kentaro uh, uh, salvage, and that is honestly worth it. Worth all of the heartache. We may get um, some other stuff, which would be nice. We got a couple locust parts. This, okay, so I think we just built a, a locust. So we can sell that. That may actually pay for. Oh, we got a PPC. That's great. I'm so happy getting the ppc that's that's actually decent so yeah i th i'm pretty sure we j did just um build uh, a locust because we got a part and we had to there's multiple different kinds of locusts that one may actually be better interesting in that it can turn out a decent volley of lrms for such a small mech it's a great harasser especially if you can run at speed to lob missiles into the weaker rear armor of targets but it normally has almost no armor itself yeah, we're going to need to do some mech repairs for sure, bud. For sure. We're going to have to refit the blackjack, that's for sure. So what are we looking at? Wow, the right leg got damaged as well. So we're selling. We got $200,000 in repairs already. Then we have to worry about like putting, replacing some of the weapons. And it seems to me we don't have some... Oh, we do have a large laser. Okay, so we can replace that. We've got tons of medium lasers. Um, so that's fine. So we'll throw that back on there. Throw that back on there. Um, we'll pr we probably have some jump jets. Yes, we do. So we'll throw that back on there. Throw that back on there. Um, and we need another medium laser on there. So that's this pretty much back to what what it once was um yeah don't this is this is fine um 218,000 buckaroos fire support and skirmisher so let's go ahead and confirm this this is going to take only 14 days that's uh, what all those extra tech tech points do for us i think Centurion um, needs repairs. Only ten thousand. That's fine. That's that's decent. 
Centurion is going to be back in 15 days, actually taking longer than the blackjack. That's interesting. Um, Big Simple still out of action for 26 days. So we can't really do any more uh, jobs right now. Let's check out the store real quick. Is there anything we can buy here? Oh, you know what we should do? Sorry, let's go back to the bays. I want to sell that locust. This one here. We're just going to go ahead and sell that. 140,000. So it didn't, it did not pay for repairs, but we also got paid from that job. So I think all in all, it was worth it. And remember that Kentaro part that we salvaged was worth 2 million. <laughs> so, um, decent, you know, worthwhile. Our uh, morale is good. Everything's pretty okay right now. That mission was rough, but everyone survived. That's decent. Okay, we've got to do our operating expenses. I'm going to continue doing high morale. I like that morale bonus. Uh. Okay, this uh, doesn't look like we have a lot of jobs on this. Or uh, uh, options on this, sorry. While pacing through the mech bay on a sleepless night, you stumble across Glitch. She is fiddling with a stock medium laser. A jumbled pile of loose metal and wire litters the deck plating around her. As you approach, Glitch looks up, a sheepish grin on her face. Uh, hello, Commander. I was just trying to tune this beauty. Maybe get a little more performance out of her. Could you do me a favor and keep this from the Chief, though? He's already shooed me out of here once this week. Tell her to share her ideas with Yang. Make her spend a week in the mech bay. If a uh, glitch had those, um, then we could, we had, you know, let her keep working on it. Why not? Oh, that's cool. I suppose that was in storage for a reason, so we can afford to lose it if the things go wrong. Just be careful. These weapons are meant to destroy mechs after all. Later that week, glitch catches you in the hall, glowing with excitement. I did it, Commander. That laser is purring like a kitten now. Well, a kitten that wants to kill mechs. I even managed to replicate the performance specs of the Exostar medium laser. So we got an M laser plus. I think that is just a bo bonus. Like it, there's no disadvantages to uh, using a, a better medium laser, which is great. Um, would love to install it now. Don't think I can though, because um, the blackjack is what I would install it to. I guess we could install it to, I think the Vindicator uses a medium laser. We could refit if we were going to be very um you know optimal with our time let's go ahead and take off the medium laser here and refit that we'll take one day and the vindicator gets a little bit of extra firepower and when i say extra firepower all i really mean is it has plus 25 percent crit which is fine i think that's fine let's have a quick look at our contracts i don't think we can do anything like we obviously can't do anything right now but uh I want to have a quick look. Is this 2-1 Tundra? Too difficulty. More salvage, more max pay. I might take that one. Let's just uh, wait out the rest of our time. Jobs are done. done. Complete 25 mech repair work orders. I just got an achievement. So de Oh, another... Oh, no. No, no. Don't, don't make me pay a million. What's going on? While Planet Side on Weldry glitch sinks over, uh, slinks over to you and Samire. Good news, Commander. I know a guy who can get us an Alrakis Tiger Falcon, but it ain't cheap. This is an exotic, highly sought-after animal. I'm gonna need a million sea bills. So one question, Samire ar arches a brow. Why do we need a bird that eats people? Glitch grins. We need it to only temporarily. It's for a local collector. He's got his own personal zoo and also happens to have a cache of vintage mech parts. I can get you I can get you those parts. All I need are some extra hands. Decker will do, and the funds to buy the bird. Then I can trade it to this eccentric billionaire. You'll be getting a hell of a deal on those pristine parts. This is a bad idea even by our standards. Some higher narrows her eyes. You're not taking this scheme seriously. Uh, if I, if I do this, then the next mission I do has to be for money exclusively. This is so stupid, but I'm, I'm going to do it. Oh no. 
This has to be the most convoluted plan I've ever heard, but if anyone can make it work, it's you, Glitch. You'll get the funds for this operation, but make sure you come back in one piece. Aye, aye, Commander. This ain't my first illicit animal deal. Samira rolls her eyes as Glitch departs with a wink. Hours later, as you're inspecting the Leopard, a sh cargo ship approaches the landing pad. Samira patches in the ship's hail. Special delivery, Commander. Glitch's voice crackles over the comms. We've got free shipping included. That Tiger Falcon was worth more than I thought. Made some new friends too, Decker says. Say the word and I'll acquire whatever you need. Why don't you tell me all about your new friends once you land? You signal to Samir and she opens the Leopard's Bay doors. The cargo ship lands nearby and the mech warriors jump out, proudly revealing the gleaming mech parts. Oh, we did get some mech parts? Event reward, hell of a deal. We got an LRM-15++ plus 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 rare weapon. Uh, neat. I was kind of hoping for more than one weapon, but I mean, that's really nice. That's really nice. I'll throw that on the Centurion right away. Um, so here's my concern. Um, Centurion is already lacking armor. I don't think I, I, I don't think I could con feasibly, um, Take off an LRM-10 for another LRM-15. I just don't think it's going to work. Um, we need a bigger mech if we want to make use of, like, multiple LRM-15s. So what we'll just do instead is just replace the current LRM-15. This does have plus 50% crit and plus 2 stabilized damage. It's a good weapon. Is it worth a million, though? Who can say? I don't know. I do know, though, uh, that if we don't make some more money we actually fail the entire campaign Our next tank is just about yeah i know i i hate it when you remind me because i can't do anything about it stop okay <laughs> okay Our, we've got a full squad we need to do a big job a big job we need to do a big job um Let's do this forward observers for 826,000. Um, yeah, we're just going to have to take it for money. We have this spider. Um, before we do this, you know what? Let's sell the spider. I'm not even going to bother stripping it. I'm just going to I'm just going to sell it. That's not going to make a big difference, but it'll make a difference and it might pull us out of potential bankruptcy. Um, so let's do our contracts. Go back to what we, the eight, 826,000. What is this increased activity from the local pirate organization near several priority facilities? Suggest the strike is coming soon. We're tasking you with intercepting the scout lance, eliminating it before it can report back. Okay. Full money, accept the job big simple on the on the back on the blackjack i know it's you know i understand the blackjack is underweight but not because it's not un like completely unequipped oh god okay i mean risks are being taken right now but we got a lrm pl <laughs> 15 triple plus i mean it's that's got to be worth something i'm gonna do a pause here for the loading screen all right let's hope for the best should be an easy job all we have to do is kill a scout wink we've got solid intel that the enemy lances in the region um sweep the, the area find them and clear them out seems easy enough let's have glitch go up ahead since um she's got that got that speed oh okay never mind everyone's got speed I'm still used to her being in a uh, spider. She's going the distance. She's going for speed. Um. Okay. They're very spread out. We might actually need to split people up a bit. I read you, Commander. Moving out. I'll have um 
the centurions stay on the cliff, he should be able to reach basically everyone. Destroy enemy... Okay, there's four of them. Destroy enemy re reinforcements. Ah, we've got the locust in range. This is good. Miss. Nice. That's that evasion paying out. Um, I want to build up some more evasion and then take out that locust. Actually, let's do like a jump. I love the jump because it means we get the ideal position. We get the maximum evasion. This thing's also got a lot of evasion, it must be said. We did hit it three times though, that's not bad. I don't think it hit us even once, so that's quite nice. So I need to, I want to have eyes on this thing. I, did, I should have paid closer attention to, to what the, what it was, like, tonnage. This is a Wolverine. The Wolverine is quite a beefy mech. That being said, we should be able to do some nice damage to it. What have we got here? Medium laser on its head. That's, oh, it's got quite a lot of firepower. Let's um try and hit it on its left torso, or sorry, right torso. Precision strike, we might be get lucky. We got a crit, I think. No, we didn't get a crit. It looked like we did. We had some extra stuff there that I, didn't, I haven't seen before. Uh, I'm going to have the Centurion do another precision strike on that, which means I need Behemoth, the Behemoth to do something to build up our morale. Let's do a, a jump. Um, I actually have a better chance of maybe hitting that Shadowhawk. Maybe not. Maybe it would be better to just hit the Wolverine. It's actually way easier to hit the Wolverine. So we may as well target the Wolverine. And I don't think that they'll be able to hit us from over there. At least they'll have a less likely chance. Good, some good hits. It's not exposed yet, but we're getting there. Yeah, we're going to want to target that Wolverine, I think. We can't do a precision shot, but we can hit it. I think it's, it, um, we did uh, expose it. Not sure. A little bit concerned about the blackjack. I did just kind of like abandon it. However, it's still got some evasion. I might um, just have it sprint over to the rest of the group. Oh, those are some solid con uh, connects. Yeah, I, I did abandon the blackjack and he did. Oh, my dude took another freaking hit. Yo, he is always taking hits, isn't he? Okay, we need to get out of here. So I'm going to do a backup jump, build up some more evasion. Um, can we hit something? We can hit this locust. We will slightly overheat. Let's uh, take off one of these medium lasers. Nice connects. Solid. I was hoping we would blow something off, but we did not. We got another mech coming in. Standing by. Oh, okay. That's not actually what we want. Okay, this is good. Let's do a precision on the Wolverine. Uh, may as well hit it maybe in the torso. I get, let's just continue on the right torso. Nice. Nice. That, uh, well, I, I was... We did knock it over, unfortunately. But um, we got pretty close. Good to go. Might be better to try and hit it from behind. The thing is, though, is that we've been hitting it from the front, so you, you it's better to focus a, a point than to, like, you know, hit it on the other side. Like, it doesn't have a lot of armor from the rear, but it's got no armor in the front, if that makes sense. So I think it's better to just continue hammering it in the same spot than to, like, change. Knockdown. Nice. We did get the knockdown. 
pilot injured. I think if we hit, hit it one more time, or injure it one more time, we should be good. Um, let's uh, let's just hit it with everything, Copy with that. the vindicator. Right in the torso, perfect. Firing. Boom, boom, boom. What do you mean miss? Stop! Don't miss. It's on the ground. You had an eighty percent chance. Oh god, Shadowhawk taking some damage. Wolverine getting back up. Not good. He gets to attack as well. Ah, and he's attacking the Shadowhawk from behind. Which isn't good. They're not exposed though. So I'm I'm cool. We have a Jenner. That's not good. When did the the Jenner look damaged? Have I been shooting at the Jenner and not realizing it? Or is that a fresh Jenner? I see. It's I haven't seen the Jenner yet, but it is a not fully repaired Jenner. So, um, big simple. I'm going to continue to back up and uh, take shots on someone. I guess the Shadowhawk. We have a better chance of actually hitting the Shadowhawk. We are building up heat by doing jumps like this, so it's maybe not a great idea. I'm going to have to continue like taking stuff off. Might be uh, I don't, that locust has such high evasion that it's basically impossible to hit it. It's also got some pretty decent um, firepower, so like it's doing a really effective job of being a menace, basically. So is it turned around right now? Can we shoot it? We can shoot it. We have an eighty-five percent chance to, to hit it. How come am I not able to hit it or not? Are we doing a melee hit? Like, what are we doing? I see. We, we would be doing a melee hit. Don't really want to do a melee hit. I want to hit it with our actual guns. No sweat. And again, we want to do a precision shot. Shoot it in the torso since it's exposed. Center torso destroyed. Nice, that's the Wolverine taken care of. Centurion's taking some damage, but it's not exposed yet. This is good. Waiting for orders. Okay, let's get back over here and actually start hitting something. We've got a pretty decent... Uh, if I jump there, then I'm in line of sight of, like, everything. Which is good for me, but also good for them. If we get over here, maybe we can actually hit... Like, maybe destroy the right arm on that Shadowhawk. What is on its right arm? Just the medium laser. Uh, might be better, actually, to hit its leg. I guess we don't get a choice, though. Because we are we already used our precision shots. We did break off the right arm. I wish um, I was happier about that. I'm actually going to move the Centurion close to the Blackjack, if only to give it some cover. Copy that. Um, I kind of want to dedicate an entire shot to the Locust just to get it out of here because it really is a pain in the butt. As I, as I figured, it didn't take it out because of its insane evasion. But, um, we reduced its evasion and we also took off one of its weapons. So that's nice. That's good for us. Locust is going to be a pain, but not too much of a pain. All right. Big simple. You get to get your revenge. Potentially. Uh, I'm just going to walk over and, and punch it. Punch it, Chewy. Yes! Get stomped on. Pilot incapacitated. Perfect. So now the major threat is the Jenner. What do you mean, heavy damage? What do you mean there's another Shadowhawk? What do you mean a Thunderbolt? What the heck are you talking about? Holy crap. What is that? 
I mean, it's not super loaded out, but it's it's not not loaded out. Good lord, what are these missions right now? Okay, we um we need to take that Jenner out. That Jenner is a pain. Wow. Wow. Well, not too wow. It's just one wow. Okay. We're we're it's I mean it's it's not good. It's not good. Um we've got some SRM ammo in the right torso. So let's hit that. Nice SRM ammo explosion that worked out beautifully. That's exactly what you want to see. Um, Shadow Hawk is doing some melee damage. Vindicator is gonna. I'm gonna have it jump back and try and hit the Shadow Hawk. I guess from behind. It's gonna overheat by a lot. I shouldn't have done that jump. Should have just moved. Okay, um, I'm actually just gonna have it brace kind of sucks But I shouldn't have done that jump it we we generated too much heat That's the problem with doing too many jumps Centurion is not in a great position right now at least not to hit that shadow hawk can't really hit the shadow hawk Unfortunately, so instead I'm gonna have to hit something else um, the other Shadowhawk, likely. Let's see what we can do about that. Is there any ammo? There's some ammo in the left torso. There's some other ammo in the... So we can hit it just about anywhere, and it will be good. It's unsteady. Those knockdowns are, are quite nice. Actually, setting up a knockdown for, like... Oh, that, that sucks. Setting up a knockdown for a future turn isn't a bad way of doing things. Okay, so we want to, like, back up and hit this thing hard. The Shadowhawk right in front of us. Could have gotten a... I think I could have done a better job of, like, setting up a better position here. But I'm, I'm okay with this. We miss with a large laser. I should have just done a melee hit. Centurion is still not exposed. Love to see it. Glitch. Um, gl I, I worry about glitch right now. I'm gonna... Not sure what I need to do for her. We need to take out this Jenner. We are, it's only a 50% chance... The Jenner, unfortunately, got some uh, evasion. Let's uh, aim for that left torso. We got an SRM4 crit. Oh, god damn it. The Shadowhawk really needs to go. Okay, we're not going to do a jump. Uh, I've done enough jumping. We're just going to move... And we're going to hit this Shadow Hawk hard. And we are going to hit it hard because we're hitting it on the left side here. Sorry, it's right side. It's right side, which is going to hit its torso basically just head on. Decker. Mm, what what are you going to do? You could hit the Shadow Hawk. Yeah, you know what? Hit the Shadow Hawk. If you knock it over, it kind of sucks because if we knock it over, I'm pretty sure it, nothing's going to come of it because it'll just get back over, get, get back up. Critical hit, Commander. But we did injure the pilot, and that's good. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit worried. It's, it's, you know, we're, we're okay. Yeah, see, the Shadowhawk just gets back up again. Gets knocked down, gets back up again. Something, something. You know. You know how. You know. You know. Come on. You know. Okay, we're just gonna punch the Shadow Hawk. Punch it. Attack. 
Um, more would have been better. But we, we, we're do, doing that, honestly, just to cool down. Okay, Glitch needs to get out of there. That Jenner is so close to death. So close to death. So we're gonna jump her backwards. Ready, set. And try and take out this Jenner. Because we, we are sick of it. Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye. So if I get... I, I think I foregoed all of my choice of picks, which really sucks because I would have loved to get a Thunderbolt. A Thunderbolt salvage part? Good lord. Good lord. Yes, please. But, you know, can't have everything, I guess. For some reason. Why can't I just have everything? Sick of it, honestly. Um, all right, Behemoth. We're not in a great position with the Behemoth. Okay, that's actually not bad. Location confirmed. What? Uh, we, we haven't hit the Thunderbolt at all. I'm just going to try and take out the Shadowhawk. Look at it. It's all, It's so close to death. Acknowledged. AC5 crit. Yay. <laughs> I like the little, just like, you know. It's just like such a such a weak sound effect. Like, yeah, we hit it and then it's just like explode sounds. Exploding sounds can be heard. I don't know what that um glowing eye the what they mean. I guess it means like they're within sight or something. I'm not sure. So again, I just want to take out the Shadow Hawk. I just need to get rid of more, you know, threats on the screen. We did hit it pretty good there. It's amazing that it did not die. I think we've exploded like all of its ammo. Shadowhawk taking some nasty damage. Fortunately, we nothing has been blown off yet. Um, I'm just gonna try and take out the Shadowhawk with Decker, and if I do, then we can um, focus everyone else on the Thunderbolt. Yes, okay, that is the Shadowhawk finally dead. What do you mean enemy turn? What do you mean there's another Shadowhawk? I'm going down. I completely forgot there was another Shadowhawk on the field. I thought it was just a Thunderbolt. Good God. Okay, um, that really sucks. We need to, we need to hit this thing. Oh, we're hitting it at like the worst angle. Okay, I mean we gotta hit it. Yeah, we we didn't do very much to it because we <laughs> hit it at the worst angle. So we gotta. I want to do. I know we're doing a jump again, and I know I said don't do jumps, but we gotta. Because I want to hit it. Hit the Shadowhawk on the other side where it's a co it's completely exposed. We could probably try and hit it in the leg. I feel like I want to save the precision shots for um, the Thunderbolt. Oh, thank God! Something exploded there. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm I'm actually genuinely worried now. Yeah. Did it have damage minor? Really? Oh my god. Okay, stand up. The fact that she's okay and the mech didn't like completely explode there is a miracle. Hoping to do a melee hit on the on its right side there, but that's not gonna work. Kind of, I actually just want to, like, I know we're turning our back right now, but I want to kill this thing. Hit it. Please die. Oh, it didn't die. It did knock over, though. Okay, that's something. 
Pilot injured. How is that pilot still alive? Have I not knocked this thing over like several times? Okay, come over here and just shoot this thing. Shoot it. There we go. Probably didn't need to dedicate an entire attack to it, but I... I did not not need to. Okay, we're going to start coming over here and actually dedicating some precision shots to the Thunderbolt finally. It didn't make sense to do that yet. So, um, where is its ammo? LRMs in its left torso. Left torso it is. What's up, boss? Left torso with the Centurion. Would have been nice if we could have knocked it over. We didn't. That's fine. Precision strikes are continuing to hit that left torso. We're like missing everything, kind of. Okay, well, the good news, I mean, I don't think it can do too much damage on its own, but it, it, it is still shooting. Yeah, I mean, it's got... A uh, large laser, two medium lasers. It's got some missile launchers. This thing is well equipped. Can we continue doing precision shots? Um, yeah, I mean, it's actually worth it from here. What? Oh, we're hitting it only from the right, uh, its right side. Okay, let's just do a normal attack then. Nice shots. Actually hit it. Um, okay, well, I guess Glitch is going to try and hit it from behind. It, it angled kind of perfectly so that all of its armor was, uh, was towards me. Okay. Um, we don't want to do a jump with Behemoth because, um, we're, it's starting to overheat a little bit. I don't even think I can, okay, I can do a full shot here, which is good. Again, I'm not doing precision shots, mostly because I'm hitting it and its most armored side and, you know, away from all the stuff I've already built up. But I think we can hit it with the Centurion, so we will do a precision shot here and we will hit its right torso. Is it the right torso we care about? No, it's actually the left torso. Hmm. I mean, we could just try and hit its left leg and knock it over, but this is the last turn of the uh, the initiative. I think we knocked it over anyway, yeah. So it's just going to get back up again on its turn. Although it doesn't really make sense to me that it should move first on the top of the turn order. It did. <laughs> Apparently it did. It has very good initiative. But still, we're we're very close to to finishing finishing this thing off. It actually built up some ev evasion, amazingly. Some good shots there. I just wanted to kill its evasion. Um, let's actually try and hit its left torso. Seventy percent chance here. Sorry, 69% chance here. There we go. There we go. Well done, Commander. Well, that was, um, I won't lie, that was kind of rough. A lot rougher than I thought. We're going to get some parts, not a lot. I really am praying for a Thunderbolt salvage. That would be so nice. We did get close to a million uh, in payment, though. Two people injured. Uh, we definitely have some, uh, things to repair. The Black Shack lost its... No, it didn't lose its arm. It just got its arm exposed. We got a Shadow Hawk. <laughs> we got a Shadow Hawk part. We did get an SRM 6++, though. Like, Wolverine, Thunderbolt, two Thunderbolts. I swear to God. Three Thunderbolt parts. There were three... There were three Thunderbolt parts. And we got the shadow hawk part i mean the only thing worse would have been if we got a locust part if we got a jenner part that would have been nice 
if we there oh oh <laughs> just like just like everything about that kind of sucks um i'm happy with what we got we actually got very lucky with this srm 6 plus plus um very very decent like only a benefit only a good thing i didn't i, I didn't realize actually um one thing i should uh, should have mentioned that um when we put a rare gun on a, a mech it becomes kind of um risky because like if we put it on a part for instance on that mech that can be blown off we can we have the potential to just lose that part for good you know and it's 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 a blow it sucks um if you lose like that rare uh lrm 15 plus 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 that i earned or you know spent a million on um okay we don't need to do anything there then it's just like it just sucks like that that's just like a big big blow um so there is a risk there let's um yeah we'll give called shot bonus negative two indirect fire penalty negative 45 minimum range we'll give them tactician decker is also going to get tactics i should really oh decker doesn't even have the potential for multi-shot interesting um glitch is also gonna get tactician i'm going hard on tactician i mean it's just a very good stat no reason not to medusa also has some experience um medusa is down for the cat for a little bit uh let's see what kind of repairs we need to do two thousand it's nothing vindicator needs to be refit did it lose a part? It lost a leg. 70,000. A small blow. Not bad. What did we lose, actually? I didn't mean to do that. I see I see construction is starting up, so I'm very glad that the uh, episode is almost over here. Let's go ahead and, and confirm this. Uh, anything else need repaired? No, doesn't look like it. Um, so I'm going to we're gonna keep this you know that's a nice float uh we'll need more money but um you know you, you you definitely gotta you gotta keep a balance going like yeah it's cool throwing down a million credits on something like that but like you can't do that all that often i am interested in this stalker mech 85 we it's just it's just a million credits for one part don't even worry about it um comm system yeah i don't think we need to buy anything just now there's some nice stuff here for sure uh we'll have a quick look at what our next contract might be we could do some cease and like a, just a normal mission oh we have to go off site for this all of these um arano restoration are like on site so that's why i'm doing them is we don't have to move around that being said this is kind of tempting do do something else all right well with the construction uh coming up in like full swing here i'm gonna go ahead and end the episode um i hope you are enjoying the series i know i am i love this game it's great um took some risks paid out uh we got some interesting parts we got some good weapons so that'll that'll work out i think later do want to we do want some tankier beefier mechs but uh can't, we don't really have much control in, uh in that i think the best we could do is like try and get a nice big float of money and then i can start taking missions just for parts and then we'll have a better chance of actually getting some some other mech parts but anyway if you're enjoying the series definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this i'll see you guys next time take it easy